Hello, my name is Kyle Paris A. Madrazo. I am an extrovert teenager who just turned 17 years old 5 days ago. I love camping, modeling, and making new friends. I almost can see without my glasses on. I have an astigmatism and myopia. My optometry said it's inborn. My ultimate dream is to become a model, even just for a short period of time. When I pray before I sleep, I usually end up crying because I really want things to work and happen. Before, I was so confident about myself, but things changed. My dream job is flight attendant. I feel like I'm fit for the job since I have a good personality. I like traveling to different places and I love serving other people. Last year, I lost my confidence when I had severe acne. And that makes me quit modeling. It was hard for me because I lost myself and interest in almost everything that I enjoy doing. But I am lucky because I am surrounded with a lot of good people who did not get tired of motivating me to feel better and they played a big part in my journey. Though I still have the scars from my severe acne, but I did not regret it. That experience made me stronger and it taught me a lot. Honestly, because of that experience, I was able to love and accept myself more. That experience was the reason why I see the beauty of every flaw and imperfections I have in my life. And this scars are beautiful because it symbolizes what I have gone through. I have strong trust issues to people. I don't usually believe them unless I have proven it to myself that they are worth the trust. Just a fun fact about me, I was already 15 years old when I knew that environment was spelled E-N-V-I-R-O-N-M-E-N-T because I used to believe that environment was spelled with an L. So imagine from grade 10 to, from kinder rather, to grade 10, I was not aware with the right spelling and that's crazy. I wasted a lot of opportunities just because of fear. Sometimes things don't go well as planned. My favorite Bible verse is Romans 8.18 and it says there that I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. In other words, we do not dwell on the pain and sorrow but we look forward and remain hopeful for a brighter tomorrow by God's grace. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Once again, my name is Catherine A. Madraso from Grade 10 State Theater. I don't know. Grade 11 STEM.